Hello fungi and welcome to the first channel about fungi. Today's video is about the pigmentation of lichens. As a biologist and nature lover, I have always been fascinated by why these symbiotic organisms are so colorful and what the purpose of this specific coloration is. The most important thing is that the colors we perceive are given by pigments. In biology, pigments are substances that impart color to tissue structure of the body or the entire body of organisms. These pigments are compounds with diverse chemical structures that can absorb certain wavelengths of light while reflecting or transmitting others. This process results in the appearance of specific colors. A good example is the main pigment of plants, chlorophyll. We perceive plants as green because chlorophyll can absorb light in the red and blue spectra, reflecting green light instead. Pigments play important roles in various biological processes, such as photosynthesis, camouflage, and thermoregulation. They also shield organisms from harmful ultraviolet radiation. Additionally, pigments may have functions beyond their photoproperties, depending on the chemical composition of their molecules. Lichens are symbiotic organisms composed of fungus and photobionts, alga or cyanobacteria, or sometimes even two photobionts simultaneously. The uniqueness of lichens lies in their production of a broad spectrum of pigments. Some pigments are produced by fungus, others by the photobionts, and some are unique to lichens as composite organisms. Of course, it's impossible to describe all the pigments found in lichens because there are so many. Therefore, I have chosen some of the most representative pigments for the main colors you may see around. First of all, lichens can photosynthesize. Their photosynthetic partners, whether green algae or cyanobacteria, can absorb sunlight and convert it into chemical energy to produce nutrients like sugars. The essential for the harvesting green pigment is chlorophyll, with chlorophyll A being an indispensable photosynthetic pigment for both green algae and cyanobacteria. The green coloration of some lichens is primarily due to the presence of chlorophyll pigments within the photobiont. This green coloration is most prominent when the lichen is actively photosynthesizing and growing. In addition to the main chlorophyll A, photobionts may have accessory pigments. Similar to antennae, these pigments capture light wavelengths in a broader spectrum than chlorophyll A, retranslating this energy to chlorophyll A and making photosynthesis more efficient. Most often, green algae have chlorophyll B, green-blue pigment, and carotenoids, yellow pigment. In addition to chlorophyll A, cyanobacteria produce accessory photosynthetic blue and red pigments pigments known as phycobilins, which enable cyanobacteria to grow under low-light conditions. They also produce carotenoids, which act as protective agents against photooxidative damage. Melanins in lichens are typically produced by the fungal components of the lichen body. The term melanin comes from the Greek word melanos, meaning black or dark colored. Melanins are usually dark brown or black pigments of high molecular weight that are negatively charged charged, hydrophobic in nature, and formed via the oxidative polymerization of phenolic or indolic compounds. Eumelanins and allomelanins are the main types of melanins present in lichens. They have some structural differences and distinct physical properties. Light absorption by melanin protects the lichen cortex from UV-induced stress, allowing lichens to tolerate radiation for long periods. Additionally, melanin provides protection against other environmental stressors, including desiccation. Parietin is a common orange-colored pigment initially discovered in the lichen Xanthoria parietina. This pigment is synthesized by the mycobiont and protects the photobiont against oxidation caused by excessive solar radiation. It has also been shown to specifically protect lichens against UVB light at high altitudes in alpine regions. UVB light stimulates the production of parietin, which in turn protects the lichens from damage. Additionally, parietin has been found to inhibit plant pathogenic fungi and has proven effect in reducing barley powdery mildew and cucumber powdery mildew. Depending on specific conditions, lichens may change their synthesis level of pigments, leading to quite different coloration 
of the same lichen body. For example, the hydrated lichen Lobaria pulmonaria exposed to UV light began to form melanins within a week. By the end of the experiment, the lichen body were dark brown. In contrast, a hydrated lichen body not exposed to UV light didn't develop melanin and exhibited a deep green coloration. The same color dynamics were observed in Xanthoria parientina. UV exposure activated the synthesis of parientine, while lichen not exposed to UV radiation stayed green. Interestingly, both lichens kept without water were not able to develop adequate pigment protection against UV light. As a consequence, damaged areas and chlorophyll bleaching were observed. Vulpinic acid is a bright yellow pigment first discovered in wolf lichen Litharia vulpina. Vulpinic acid is a toxic compound, particularly to meat-eating mammals, insects and mollusks. In Scandinavia, it was historically used to poison wolves and foxes. However, vulpinic acid is not toxic to rabbits and mice. Lichens exploit the ultraviolet blocking properties of the vulpinic acid molecule to protect the underlying photobionts. Additionally, vulpinic acid may serve as a repellent that lichen have evolved to deter grazing and herbivorous animals. Recently, it was reported that the slug repelling activity of vulpinic acid could be utilized as a protective agent for higher plants. Coating seeds with the compound prior to planting helps protecting plants from slugs which feed on young plants and seedlings, causing significant damage and reducing crop yields. Vulpinic acid also exhibits antibacterial activity against gram-positive bacteria and has been shown to disrupt cell division of methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Uznic acid is a pale yellow-green pigment almost exclusively found only in lichens. This compound was first isolated in 1844 from Usnia oncodeoides and was named after this lichen. Its properties are very similar to those of vulpinic acid. Uznic acid is believed to protect lichens from strong sunlight and deter grazing animals due to its bitterness. It has significant antifeedant activity and toxicity toward the larvae of the herbivorous insect Podoptera literalis. Osnic acid is active against a broad spectrum of molds and medically important bacteria, having an antimicrobial effect towards Streptococcus mutans, bacteria that play a role in the etiology of dental caries and periodontal diseases. 1% Uznic acid was added to mouthwash. It was shown that the growth of Dryptococcus mutans was selectively suppressed without substantially affecting the equilibrium of the other oral bacteria. Pulpinic acid and Uznic acid inhibit the growth of the photobiont Tribuxia irregularis within some lichens, suggesting a regulatory mechanism intrinsic to the lichen. Rhodocladonic acid is a distinctive pigment found in several lichen species particularly within the genus Cladonia. It is notably present in species such as Cladonia leporina and Cladonia salmonia, which exhibit red or pinkish apotasia. This pigment serves multiple ecological functions, providing UV protection and possessing antimicrobial properties. These functions help protecting the lichen from environmental stressors and potential pathogens, contributing to its survival and ecological success. Additionally, one study mentions the impact of rhodocladonic acid analogs on seedling germination and root development, highlighting its potential bioactivity beyond its ecological role in lichens. Sedifolia gray is a unique pigment found in certain lichen species, particularly within the genus Mycaria. Sedifolia gray is notable for its distinctive gray coloration. It's found in the cortex and serratia of these lichens. Its presence gives the lichens their characteristic coloration, which can vary depending on the concentration and distribution of the pigment. The pigment helps protect the lichens by absorbing harmful ultraviolet light, thus providing an adaptive advantage in their respective environments. Additionally, Sedifolia gray pigment is a significant marker in lichen taxonomy and helps distinguish between species within the same genus or closely related genera based on their chemical profiles. Also, 
it's worth to mention that the position of salt crystals may also contribute to the change of coloration in lichens. For instance, lichens in coastal or arid environments can accumulate salts from the atmosphere or soil into their talus. The salts can cause a bleaching effect, making the lichen appear paler or white, which is basically due to damage or breakdown of chlorophyll and other pigments. Additionally, the stress caused by salt deposition may trigger the production of protective secondary metabolites that can alter the lichen's color. I hope you liked this video and now your admiring of lichen colors will be more conscious.